G'day guys and welcome back to another Red Dead Online Outfits video. It's been a while since I last posted a Red Dead video, but here we are. Today, I'm bringing you some Halloween inspired outfits so that you look the part this October. If you play Red Dead and keep up to date with the community outfits, this month's devilish dapper combination comes from the imagination of YouTuber Bogan Bav. Huge thank you to Rockstar Games for featuring me and one of my outfits. All clothing items are completely free to claim until November 6th, so let's start off with the devil. First things first, you're going to need the masquerade mask. A lot of the masks in this video are from Madame Nazar and they're limited time, so go get them while you can. Moving on, you'll need the shotgun coat with an everyday shirt and a paisley vest with a puff tie, leather gloves, tuxedo pants, and dress shoes. Moving on at number two, we've got Bane. So we're gonna need the slaughter mask with a Rex Road coat, the Ortega vest, and leather gloves. For the bottoms, you'll need Martindale pants and Hardy boots. Coming in at number three, we've got Jason. You'll need the slaughter mask with the neck scarf and a leather jacket with a collar over shirt. For the gloves, we've got the workman's and the bottoms, we've got the Clavelli pants and hardy boots. Next up in number four, we've got the Joker. You'll need the horror mask with a dress tie, a tail coat with an opulent vest and an everyday shirt. We'll be wearing the leather gloves with tuxedo pants and dress shoes. Now at number five, we've got a minion from Despicable Me. It's kind of weird, but like Halloween, you just dress up in weird things anyways. So we're starting off with the woolen hat, the balloonist goggles with a bibbed shirt and overalls, and you'll need the worn ropers boots, but honestly, any black boots will do. Now coming in at number six, one of my favorites, we've got Jack the Ripper. So you'll start off with the short stovepipe top hat with a trimmed bandana, and you'll need the leather duster with a double-breasted lapeled vest with an everyday shirt underneath. We'll be wearing the leather gloves with Martindale pants and worn ropers boots. Now for number seven, we've got Leatherface. So there's two mask options you can use. Last year we used the freak mask. This year we're gonna use the swine mask. For the shirt, we've got the latnip shirt and a dress tie with overalls and then the Milrot boots. Coming in at number eight, we've got Billy the Puppet from Saw. So you'll need the horror mask with a Fulbright coat and a paisley vest with an everyday shirt underneath it. For the gloves, we're using the Avery ones and for the bottoms, we've got penstock pants with dress shoes. Coming in at number nine, we've got Jack Skellington. You'll need a horror mask with a shotgun coat, a French dress shirt, and a Richfield vest with a puff tie. For the bottoms, you'll need tuxedo pants and dress shoes. Coming in at number 10, we've got a bit of a weird one. We've got Frankenstein. So we'll be using the Masquerade mask, which is honestly the closest that you could probably get with that. And then we'll be using the roller jacket with an everyday overshirt and a rope gun belt. Then for the bottoms, the Clavelli pants and hardy boots. Then for our last outfit, one of the fan favorites, Chucky. Super easy to make. We've got the Donegal sweater with overalls and dress shoes. That is all the outfits I have for you guys today. Let me know what your favorite one is or if you have a suggestion, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. And if you're looking for even more outfits, check out my previous videos because I've got a bunch for you guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.